Hi, Jeff Ogan from Sport Dad Sports Photography. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the cropping tool in Photo Mechanic. So let's dive right into Photo Mechanic and take a look at how to use the cropping tool. So you see here I have a contact sheet open. I want to select this particular image to crop, so I double click on that. First thing I do is I enlarge the screen so I have a full size image to look at and then I come over to the cropping tool over on the right. I can turn it on and off by clicking on this icon here or I can use the shortcut of C. So now you see that the icon has turned into a cropping tool. I press the mouse button and then I drag and let go. So you see now that I have cropped it. So it is non-destructive. I can make changes to the crop here. I'm not deleting any pixels. And if I hit escape and come back out and look at the thumbnail, you can see that the crop is reflected in the thumbnail. I'm gonna come back in here and again, enlarge it. It's important to note that yes, the crop shows up in an external editor such as uh, Lightroom or Photoshop. And yes, you can modify that crop later in Lightroom, Photoshop, or whatever external editor that you're using. Okay, so next thing I want to show you are the settings. So here what I do is click on settings and click one, two, three. I recommend that you turn all three of these things on. Let me show you why. So now you see that the area outside is darker. Let me reopen this. So you see the area outside the crop is darker or more opaque. So you can control how dark it is or how light it is outside the cropped area by changing it here. I like to leave it about here. It's dark enough that I can easily see what the cropped area is inside, but it's not so dark that I can't see what I've cropped out. Grid overlay, you can see obviously what that is. And then this show crop center crosshair. Right here you see on his stomach is that little crosshair that shows the exact center of the screen. All right, so close that and hit clear. So hitting clear gets rid of the crop and lets me uh, move on to the next step. So that first crop that I showed you was what was called a normal crop or unconstrained. But what if you want to make it, let's say, a constrained crop and you want to do it as a one by one? I've already typed that in. So if I go here, so you see that I've turned the crop tool on and now it automatically constrains it to a one by one uh, crop. So what I want to do is I like this one by one. I'm going to save that and I'm going to call it one by one crop. I'm not saving it specifically to this picture. I'm actually saving it to the tool. So I come back here now and you see here I've got one by one crop. So now let's say I want to come here and I want to turn this into a 13 by 19. Perhaps that's what you need for a website or something. Um, I'm going to make the change here. Yeah, I like that. I'm make it a little bigger. Move it over to the center using this crosshair here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to say save that one and I'm going to call it a 13 by 19 crop and hit OK. And now you see when I'm back up here and I want to come to the tool, I can call it my call it my one by one crop or my, uh, oops, my 13 by 19 crop. There you go. So you see it's actually just saving the settings of the cropping tool. It's not actually saving that particular crop. So now I also want to show one more thing here. I can go into manage settings and you can see if I want to, for example, get rid of one of these. Let's say I want to get rid of the one by one. I don't need it. I'm just showing the example of how to manage uh, the save, saved settings here. I come back in here, come to here, and you see that that one is gone. So now let's say we want to uh, flip this. So we've got it as a 13 by 19 inch crop, but uh, what we want to do is make it actually 19 by 13. So what we do is we hold the uh, corner here and just drag it until it flips over and then you can move and resize it as you wish. I may come in and do something along those lines right there. 
Uh, don't judge me on my cropping here. This is just uh, an example for the purpose of this video. So once you've cropped the image, perhaps you need to straighten it. So you come over here and um, make sure your cropping tool is turned on. You see how the cursor changed. Here's a hand to move it. But when you go outside the cropped area, the icon changes or your cursor changes. So now I press down on the uh, mouse button and then uh, drag and you can see that it rotates. In Photo Mechanic, it is the frame that rotates, the picture stays still. In Lightroom, it would be the opposite where the picture uh, rotates and the frame uh, stays still. But anyway, here's how you simply um, change the, um, or here's how you straighten the, uh, the image. If I want to come over here now and I hit full, what this is going to do is give me the largest possible, in this case, uh, 13 by 19 image. Um, so this gives me the, the maximum real estate. I don't use this that often, but I just wanted to show you what that button uh, did for you. So the last thing I'm going to show is I'm going to come back here to the crop tool and change this to you know roughly the crop that I want here. So let's sake of example, let's show you that. I'm going to hit copy and then right cursor over to the next uh, next image and hit paste. And what it's going to do, obviously, it pasted that same constraint, the same size, same location. So I can make my adjustments here if I need to but it gives me kind of a running start. If I am doing a series of images that I'm providing to an agency or a newspaper or a website, for example, and they need a constrained crop, um, that's the easiest way to copy and paste from one image to another. Pretty simple. And that's how you use the cropping tool in Photo Mechanic. If you like this video, please remember to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.